ITR Boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Um, I started boxing because my mom got, well, I got a letter from school and uh, I gave it to my mom and from there she told, she asked me if I wanted to join and I said yeah. And then ever since then, the first day, I just fell in love with the sport. I feel like I realized the first week when I started training, uh, I, I adapted to everything really fast. I learned everything very fast um, and I felt like I was just talented right away. I've known her for uh, 10 years now. I started training her when she was 8. Uh, so she's been, been, been with me since then. 10 years, she's now 18. Well, you know, that was actually, she's my, my first boxer. I started with her, she started with me, and we grew together. Um, uh, and and we've, we've accomplished a lot of things uh, in those 10 years. And we built a really good relationship, you know, kind of like a father-daughter type of relationship, and, and it's it's paid off because you know we both have respect for each other, and and that puts a lot of uh, you know she 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 feels like she can't let me down, and I feel like I can't let her down, so we put our 100% all the time together, and we that's how you know we we we've been so, so successful, I think. I was my coach's very first fighter. And me being a girl was kind of, I know it was kind of difficult on him, but he adapted to it very well. And I mean, for him being his, his first fighter, I think uh, he did a good job. <laughs> I think for him it was a little difficult for me being a girl because well, obviously a boy in the sport is much easier because boys are known to be in the sport and you know, they're tough and stuff. And with us girls, it's kind of hard for him to be like, uh, to give it a hundred and then at the end, I'm scared or don't want to do it. So it was kind of like a 50-50 chance um, when he started training me. But then he, like sooner or later, he started realizing that um, I was serious about the sport. I was talented and he gave me his, his all and I gave him my all. Uh, it feels be a woman in boxing, it feels great because there's not a lot of women um, in this sport, and to be one of them that inspires kids now, even at the age that I am, um, I think it feels great. Not a lot of women boxing and inspiration that I had, I had to look up to, and I feel that um, I'm gonna be one of those to, to look up to to these younger kids. And I started working with her because it was so easy to work with her. She, you know, she was very hungry. Uh, she really liked it. You could tell. Even though she probably didn't didn't know boxing before she even started, but it, you know it was something that just came to her natural, and and I took I went and I took the challenge right away because I, I felt like this was for her, and um, it wasn't that that difficult for me to to do it. I, I went all in, and and we've been doing pretty good. My coach, well, uh, I've known my coach for about since I started boxing, so I was eight years old. Um, now I'm 18. And um, my coach, he's a very important person in my life. Without him, I don't know where I'd be today. Um, he, he, brought, he brought me into the sport very well. He taught me everything I know, and, and without him, like I said, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. I, I wouldn't have accomplished everything I've accomplished. He really means a lot to me. From the beginning, when I first started hitting the back, uh, like I said, you know, there's, there's kids that go, come to the gym, they hit the back. And and they're just you know just going along with everybody else, just in the back. She was different because you could see the you could see the the uh, the anger in her face, like she wanted to you know drop that bag. You know she was hitting it so hard, and no technique at the beginning, obviously, but she was just going all out on that bag, and I felt like this was for her, and and I, I just felt like I had to you know show her just just the basics and she was going to take over after that and, and that's what that's what happened. My relationship with my family is very great. Um, I'm with them all the time. When I'm out, out of the state or out of the country, I'm always talking to them on the phone 24-7. It's just, my family means everything. Very proud. Very proud. Um, uh, every, every goal that we set, we've accomplished and you know that makes me very proud. Uh, she makes me look good as a coach, you know. Um, and I think that um, we still got so much more to accomplish, and we will. I think uh, I think she she wants to go for that spot for the Olympic team in 2020, and she's gonna she's working hard for it. We're both working hard for it. Um, we got a lot of help, a lot of you know backup from a, a lot of friends, good people, 
and and we think we're gonna go get that spot and after the Olympics uh, we're gonna go pro and she wants to be a world champion and we're also gonna accomplish that I have no doubt about it my goals are well my next goal is to make it to the 2020 Olympics um, I believe I will make it and after that turn pro I was racing in uh, South Central uh, Los Angeles um, it's uh, not a nice place <laughs> uh, it's pretty ghetto um, and it's it was, I, I think um, South Central says a lot about me. Um, uh, it's a very tough place to grow up at. Not a lot of people like to, like to live there and stuff. And um, there was a lot going on at the time. All right, this is the most funny. I think this is the most funny one. And she's probably gonna hate me for saying it. But um, we actually we, when we first started uh, uh, boxing, you know, started coaching her. It was actually at Century Sheriff's Boxing Gym in LA. And they had just remodeled the gym. So they had this big frame of, uh, I forgot, it had a quote. It had a quote that I liked. You know, there was people running and they had this little tiny little quote. And, and actually the sheriff there gave it to me. I told him, man, I like this frame. I like this, because he just had it on the side. He goes, you want it? I said, yeah. He goes, take it. And I had just told heaven that I liked that frame. So, but she didn't, she didn't hear me talk to the sheriff that I was gonna, you know, that I wanted and he gave it to me. So as we were walking out, I told Heaven, hey Heaven, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this frame. You know, we're over there in South Central, you know. So it's normal to, I guess, for people over there to take stuff, you know. So I told her, hey Heaven, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this frame, you know, cover me, cover me. And she was only eight years old and it was funny because, you know, she 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 actually had my back on that. You know, she's she was looking at everyone, she goes, go, 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 go. And, <laughs> and I started laughing, I told her, Heaven, this is just a joke, you know, I read mean, the, the sheriff, you know. He gave it to me, you know, it, it, he's, he's letting me take it. But it was, I think it was funny because we laughed about it after, and, but she just went along with it, you know, she she felt like, you know, she did it to get, get my back on that, and, and she was all over it. But now we just look at it and we laugh, and I told her, I can't believe you were gonna help me do that, Evan, and, and we just laugh, but you know, she's probably gonna hate me after telling, telling this story. In five years from now, I believe people are gonna be amazed on the person I'm gonna be, and. Uh, where am I gonna be at in the sport? Winning the, I, I believe I'm gonna win the 2020 Olympics and after that turn pro and my name is gonna be out there.